September 16th, 2000 in Sydney, Australia. The world had no idea what was in store for them. The men's 4x100 metre freestyle relay. Some have called it the best team swim race in history. I'm Cody Simpson and this is my Olympic moment. I think maybe something that a lot of people didn't know was that I did swim competitively pretty seriously before I started to get really busy with my music. I was Australian champion um, for butterfly and freestyle for about four or five years in a row growing up. Swimming for me really embedded that competitive spirit within me since I was a, a young boy and I've really taken that with me as I've grown up and uh, I now apply that to my music and that always makes me want to get better as a songwriter and as a guitar player. No, I won't waste no time thinking about you because I got I really was born into the sport. Both of my parents were um, Australian champion swimmers, and that's how they met. So ever since I can remember, I was kind of destined to you know, be involved in it in some way. I started competing really, really young when I was about nine or 10 years old, and loved it ever since my first race. 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney, Australia. The men's four by 100 meter freestyle relay. America has always been dominant in this relay, but Australia had a really good team that Olympics, led by Ian Thorpe. Could Australia do it and pull off a huge upset? The buzzer goes off and everyone's into the water. USA in lane four, Australia in lane five. So Michael Quinn gets off to a really, really quick first leg, leading by half a body lane. On the first leg of the relay, Michael Klim also broke the individual 100 metre freestyle record with a time of 48.18. Australia really got off to the start that they needed. The crowd was going nuts, the whole stadium was going off. The second swimmer, Chris Feidler, really keeps that momentum going. And then Ashley Callis dives in. And he's swimming like he's never swum before. But the American swimmer quickly caught him. This was terrible. Everyone was wondering now if Australia was going to lose the race because the Americans were catching up quick. Now we have the last Aussie, Ian Thorpe, and the last American, Gary Hall Jr., anxiously waiting to get in the water. Two of the world's best swimmers waiting for their teammates. Ian Thorpe, Australia's anchor, exploded off the block and into the water. Gary Hall Jr. was almost instantly pulling ahead of Ian Thorpe, and it was not looking good for Australia. In the final 50 metres, America was still ahead, but Ian Thorpe was slowly mowing him down. Which country would reach the wall first? During the final stretch, we had the anticipation building, anticipation building until Ian Thorpe finally came ahead in the last few moments and Australia just exploded. It was incredible. Australia had just won the Olympic gold. The Americans, the undefeated champions at this event, finally lost. And Australia, in their home country, were able to do it. Australia had set a new world record in three minutes, 13.6. Australia had beaten the Americans by 0.19 seconds. It was that close. To be great at anything, a serious level of discipline, hard work, determination, and devotion of you know mind, body, and spirit is, is necessary, whether it's a sport or an art form like music. I am humbled day to day by the fact that I have you know so many people out across the globe that are you know, willing to listen to me and the things that I have to say and the music that you know I have to give that keeps me going on a day-to-day -day basis. I can be up on stage in front of a crowd and inspire other people to kind of go after what they you know believe in and what they dream. And I just want to help inspire other people to reach new heights. This is my Olympic moment.